Welcome back to The Real Crypto Space and today's video is going to be on Crypto.com and the news about what's happening with the Super Bowl and also technical analysis. Welcome back to The Real Crypto Space. As Louis said, we are going to be talking about Crypto.com and I know, I know a lot of you guys have been quite excited from the recent pumps. So stay tuned for this video. We are going to be doing chart analysis and uh, obviously this is not financial advice. So always do your own research and hopefully you guys enjoy this video. So as we see here, we've been doing actually really, really well. We're at 53 cents right now and uh, not even a month ago, we we're at 33 cents. So we've jumped 20 percent, uh, 20 cents, sorry, uh, very quickly. Uh, it's still 13.5 billion dollar market cap, but I don't think that's too big for Crypto.com, I can't lie. Because if you look at Binance, and I genuinely do believe it will be bigger than Binance. Uh, I've been holding Crypto.com since 7 cents um, and I've been buying more ever since. Um, so it's definitely a good project and that all-time high at 96 cents when most coins broke that all-time high because of bitcoin breaking that all-time high three months ago um so i think the super bowl potentially could make this possible again but obviously that's not 100 percent sure uh, as a lot of other companies which i'm going to talk about crypto companies are also doing their marketing in the super bowl um so yeah it's going to be it might be a bit different than what happened with the staple center because obviously crypto.com was the only one that did that and that was the big news during then so everyone fomoed into crypto.com uh, whereas we're not sure that could happen uh, this time uh, with the Super Bowl. But as we know, it's Matt Damon's uh, Fortune the Brave uh, trailer advert that's going to be in the Super Bowl. And obviously Matt Damon's a huge actor. Um, very Everyone knows who he is. Everyone's seen his face before. Um, so he's obviously recognisable. So him on the advert, I think the Crypto.com ads are going to be much better than FTX, Coinbase and all the other companies that are doing it. So if we have a look here, they've spent over $6 million for 30 seconds uh, for Crypto.com. Crypto.com, Dame a moment, had previous run report, a state crypto paid $6.5 million for a second, 30 second spot on NBC with with FTX spending $20 million for a similar spot. Um, and also, uh, Crypto.com, obviously, how much they pay with Matt Damon as well. It's a partnership, of course, so he'll be getting a percentage probably. Um, but it really, really is good uh, with what's going on. It's just bullish for crypto in general, not just Crypto.com. But I generally believe Crypto.com is going to pump nicely once again during the Super Bowl, which is in the coming days. I think it's two days away on the 12th of February. But I think this might be out later than that. I'm not sure. So we'll have seen what happens already. Um, but if we look at the uh, technical analysis of Crypto.com. So as you can see on the weekly time frame, this is Crypto.com. And uh, there are many other exchanges for Crypto.com as well, as you guys can see here. And there are a lot of other exchanges, for example, Qcoin shows us a lot more a lot more detail compared to uh, Coinbase, so therefore we are going to be looking at um, Qcoin. As you can see, as of right now, Crypto.com has had a nice pump. However, personally, I'm still bearish. I'm still expecting lower prices, just because of what Bitcoin is looking like to do in the upcoming future. But as you guys may know, from the macro um, side of things, you know, Crypto.com is looking extremely great, and it is looking like something that may hold weight as time does go along especially from the recent bullish twitter news and their super bowl and all that kind of stuff it is looking great for their cryptocurrency on a daily time frame as you guys may know we have been pumping quite nicely and it has been forming a nice upward trend one thing we don't really want to be seeing is a broke a break in the upward trend and if we do close below it we could be potentially seeing you know some major volatility where we may be heading to the downside. But keep in mind, I'm still very bearish and I'm still waiting for crypto.com to actually drop lower. And you know, any any second now, I am expecting it to be bearish just, just, just because of what Bitcoin is looking like, as I do think we are retracing from Bitcoin. But as, as you guys may know, this is not financial advice. I don't want to see it go above this high, 0 0.7. I don't, I don't want to see crypto.com go above there just from looking at the daily because consecutive upward days always comes with down day, okay? For example, consecutive down day always goes with up day, down day, up day. So this is like a pattern that you're seeing right now. So it's not looking good, but it is something that we kind of need to see. So we've seen a relief rally and then we've seen this one as well. So it's kind of similar. And then that relief rally we're seeing right now. So in my opinion, I do think that we are going to be having a continuation even lower to potentially... Um... Here it says 0 0.03. I don't think we'll ever get to 0 0.03 again unless we get to a bear market, which in my opinion is a possibility in this current time. But as you can see here, this is the current pattern that we're seeing lower highs, lower lows which is a bearish trend, so you got to keep that in mind. And uh, on the um, hourly time frame, as you can see here, 
I'll just refresh the chart. We are we are making high highs and high lows, but overall the macro on the daily we are actually looking like we do want to be dropping even lower. So thank you guys for watching. If you think you've taken any value from watching this video, then make sure you press that like button and also hit that subscribe button. We really do appreciate it. And yeah, thank you very much and have a lovely rest of your day.